have a little pimple. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Blinky's revelation. Back in his forest, there was no lesbian vampire schoolgirl genre of literary erotica. No Nazi-themed play parties with vegan hors d'oeuvres for a parade of blinded horses with flowing tails shoved up their behinds, ridden by a cadre of whooping daddies in white tank tops. Blinky wasn't into all that shit back at home in the forest where sex was not a concept. In the forest, it felt good to lie in the grass in the sun, to lick oneself, to rub against the bark of a tree to spray a stream of eggs down into a crevice or mount a hind end. It felt mildly orgasmic to yawn. There were no boundaries or contracts or safe words. Nobody enjoyed watching a smaller thing stutter and equivocate. Every animal apologized and meant it when they hurt one another's feelings. Nobody got their wires crossed. It felt good to watch the seasons change, the bodies change, the weather. It felt sexy to see the sun rise out of the trees, to feel it warm their leaves and cast shadows everywhere. In the forest, back home, everyone ate moss, green leaves, mushrooms, and cold water. No one fell in love with the blood or the eyes in their meat. No one ran away or hid. In the forest, there was no unconscious power tripping, and there was no boring public art. Everyone was happy there, safe and free. In the city, Blinky felt the bite of the weather, the cruelty of music. Dogs and cats had desperate eyes, and beautiful women clawed at their skin. Everything seemed backward. Blinky said to himself, it's just as I dreamed while I was hibernating in my cave. He said, Everything I enjoyed and believed was true is gone, including myself as I was in the forest. Without meaning to, he came, which confused him and hurt. It felt like he'd fucked a live outlet. He was betrayed and hyper aware of the schism between body and mind, its rough edges. He blinked and said, so this is one kind of death, I guess.